My name is Rachel Sprague. I'm the co-director of conservation for Pulama in the East. My name is Mary Reeves. I'm a PhD ecologist. Tyler Bogardis. I'm the small vertebrate stabilization specialist. Invasive predators are a huge threat to biodiversity. Not just birds, it's birds, it's bats, it's plants. So what I do is I protect endangered species, plants, animals, uh, snails, birds from threats such as rats that are invasive on the islands of Hawaii. Our program works on conservation of natural resources there, everything from endangered species monitoring to non-native species control to biosecurity. So Hawaii has so many endangered species, mainly because they grew up, um, evolved in a system that was void of predators. And we have these introduced predators such as mongooses, cats, rats, mice, that were non-native to the system. There are rats in the Kauai forest when they don't belong there. Um, and the rats eat our endangered Hawaiian forest birds. They mainly seem to go in and prey on the nests while the females are incubating the nests the rats do, and so the Kauai Forest Bird Recovery Project is trapping rats in the Kauai Forest using these good nature traps. The island of Lanai has had a long history of environmental degradation through uh, ranching, farming, um, and a lot of invasive species introductions. But what still remains is some really special native species, um, in particular the Hawaiian petrel or ua'u, uh, and several species of tree snails that are endemic to that island and not even found on any of the other Hawaiian islands. Every island in Hawaii is affected. They all have their own suite of uh, introduced species that affect the wildlife here. We started straight into using Good Nature A24s um, in a grid pattern. Instead of just putting traps next to the burrows we knew about, we used a grid format across the landscape to try to reduce rodent activity over the entire um, core of the petrol area. So what we do is these species live in the mountains and we try to create networks of traps that try to reduce the overall population of the, the rodent species in the area to alleviate that upon the endangered species. And mainly we use 824 automatic good nature traps that are self-resetting traps that allow us to use a trap up in, the, up in the mountains that we don't have to go to as often. Currently we're going to go to those every six months. What we've seen is a nearly tripling of reproductive success from about 20% of nests actually making it to fledging to nearly 80% with combined cat and rat control. It's really astounding in just two years. We determine rodent activity by using an independent monitoring system and its tracking tunnels. It involves a, a card with a piece of a, that you put peanut butter with ink in the middle. And when rats come in, they eat the peanut butter and they leave their inked footprints on the card. We can go then the next day and we can see how many of these tunnels have inked footprints. And by using that, we can get an index of the relative amount of rats in the area. And we use those to see how effective our management tools are, such as the trapping and other options that we've used before. Hawaii's native species are, some of the biggest threats to them are invasive plants and invasive animals. Um, so making sure that you're planting native plants in your yard if possible, keeping your cat indoors is a really big deal, and making sure that you're not leaving out food or other things that rats or mongoose can use. Uh, with these new innovative tools that we're trying to use and developing those and uh, really manipulating those and uh, making them as most, of, most as effective as possible, uh, we have a lot of, uh, there's a lot, there's a bright future ahead. We've been able to really increase the amount of area that we're able to protect. And the more we're able to protect, the more benefit we're going to receive. I think there's hope because I think nature is resilient. We call Mother Nature a mother, but I don't think that's accurate. This is, I'm quoting a fisherman I met in a bar once. Nature isn't like a mother. Nature is really like a baby because on the one hand, you can drop a baby on its head and it gets up and it just brushes itself off and it's fine. And on the other hand, you might do something you, you really didn't ever think was going to hurt the baby and it's traumatized into its entire adult life. And so there's a lot of complexity where we don't understand or can't predict the effects of things like climate change and species interactions that are complicated, but also nature survives. <laughs> Hawaii's 
has a lot of native species. Some of them are really charismatic like Hawaiian petrels. Some are native snails that are even more endangered and are so tiny that you can hardly even see them, but they all need our help and they all need help with a landscape level. And so new and innovative tools that can help us control predators or help us restore habitat so these guys aren't just hanging on, but can actually come back and have a full functioning ecosystem is something that um, is really exciting to see us starting to move towards. Yeah, absolutely. I think that the future is going to be much better than it is currently now and that our efforts are, are contributing towards that. It's a long road ahead, but I think we've, we can get there.